thing that we want to look for for posture is not just about how you hold yourself from your chest, you've got other things that are clear signs of what posture is led from. So for example, the foot positions, looking at the foot would be one way. We're not going to talk about that today, we're going to talk about the neck. You've also got neck positions. Now the neck moves in different ways. So you can see someone that isn't be able to create a double chin very well. You'd be like, why do we want to create a double chin? We're trying to avoid that. Well, if you've got good diet, good exercise, you're not going to have a double chin. But to create one, you're actually drawing in the chin to lengthen the neck, to, to get it working better. Some people can't feel it, but people that's head tilts forward like a turtle, if you ask them to do that, they're really gonna strain to do that. Then you've got people that tilt their head to one side or the other side, and so you've got basic movements like just pulling your ear down to your shoulder and doing it the other way. You can also do it where you're just doing it manually so you can do it with, with resistance, with your hands, or you could do it where you're just moving it, activating the blood and getting it flowing. Um, you've got people that may not be able to move their chin to the other shoulder blade, for example, so they're tilted in one direction. I don't know if you've ever seen people with tight necks, their head is actually fixed in one direction, uh, slightly to the left or right. So you wanna do these motions as well. Um, you've got the uh, the neck can also tilt downwards, so you ha you might have someone that's quite tight here. So what you want to do is release their shoulder blades, um, lift up their chest, release the pec tightness, strengthen the rear deltoids, uh, the rhomboids, all the back muscles to get that lift again. So for great posture, you also want to look at how, when you do back work, a lot of back work, which I would suggest you do do to get great posture, what's gonna happen is a lot of strain and stress is gonna go into the neck. Now that's another problem. If the neck starts straining and going in these different ways, you wanna condition the muscles in the neck. You also wanna work on the flexibility of the neck because if for every muscle we have, we've got the range of flexibility and the amount of strength required or needed to, for that part of the body to be healthy. So you gotta consider the neck if we're working the back a lot, we've also got to work on making sure that the neck has got good condition, good strength, good flexibility. So if this helps and you're looking to improve your posture, your conditioning, your shape, any of those sort of subjects are really interesting to you, come book in a personal training session here at awpts.com and see you soon.